hello guys welcome to a3 tech gadgets once again today i'll be going through 10 reason why facebook is mad at apple you know the recent ios update got facebook upset why if you want to know why kindly stay tuned to the end of this video i'll be giving you 10 reasons why apple upset facebook and why you should also upgrade your apple iphone ipod macbooks to ios 14 it is very very important 10 valid reasons there are many more but i'm picking 10 you'll be listening to 10 reasons you need to upgrade your ios in this video and these are the reason why facebook is actually mad at apple apple upset facebook currently make sure you click on the subscribe button and leave the notification bell on this will notify you each time i upload a new if you are using iphone 6x and above you have the opportunity to if you are using anything below 6x you don't have the opportunity ios 14 as apple says it feels like home it feels like home because it brings new ui ux to your smart device making operating your smart device even more simpler the number one the number one reason you will be upgrading to ios 14 is experience you cannot underestimate the 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 work app puts into the experience of their users now you can have multiple widgets on your home screen isn't that wonderful who would have thought about that fine you might say some android has been doing this even before apple but come on this is apple you know when Apple does something, it marvels the world and they keep innovating their services and products. That's why they invest a lot in, their, in the experience so their customer will have a top-notch, easy to navigate, they can, they can have more. Under this experience, you have compact calls. You know, probably you are doing some other things on your phone and a call comes in. On regular smartphones you know the call takes the full screen but with iOS 14 now when you upgrade your iPhone to iOS 14 the calls or whatever message whatever notification that comes in does not take your full screen it only has the opportunity to take just slightly above some inches above the head and you can pick your call and you can continue doing whatever you are doing just like for example if you are doing FaceTime you can be doing your FaceTime with your friends and you can also be operating another app at the same time simultaneously. Who would have thought about that? Fine! Some Android has been doing this, but this is mostly on Apple products. Check it out and you'll be grateful. Apple, Apple released the iOS. We have a new app library whereby you can easily, it can easily uh, sort your apps based on their category. You don't have to worry about your your app scattering up and down. This is one thing that is lacking in Android. The moment you download an app, it's floating around. It doesn't goes, it doesn't goes into any library. But now, Apple has created something that would shuffle your app for you, irrespective of the category. You don't need to know the category. The library automatically detects it. Talk about it. The second reason is this. Do you know Apple is thinking with the current situation of the world? We all know that you cannot unlock your phone with a face mask. You cannot use the face ID to unlock your phone while you have a face mask on. You know it is not possible. It will tell you face not recognized. Do you know what Apple did? Apple find a way to integrate the unlocking into your Apple wristwatch. That's why you need to contact A3 Tech Gadgets 
to get an Apple wristwatch. And the, the beautiful of this is this. All Apple wristwatch supports this face unlock. So it's more or less like unlocking, using your face ID while your Max is on, you can unlock your phone with your face ID via your Apple wristwatch. That's so beautiful. You know, they keep providing solution to the current challenges of the world. One thing I always I also find beautiful about these areas is messages, which brings me to the third reason, messages. You know, now Apple find a way to to integrate integrate some functions like you know you can pin some messages so that you can easily access them you can also give each group you have you can give them a photo or avatar just to identify them you can also the app will also give you the opportunity to to do a certain way by if you are for example you are in a group conversation and you don't really want to participate until you are mentioned so you you you, you can actually do a certain way by when you are mentioned that's the only time you get notified and you reply not to talk about the inline reply these are beautiful updates from apple you need to try it if you are still doubting you can also or you can always download and one thing about a3 tech is this if you are buying any apple product from us maybe a phone you have the opportunity to ask us to update the phone for you free of charge that's wonderful this is one thing you wouldn't get in any other places number four maps you know the develop countries don't joke with their maps so what is so special about the new app well google map is very 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 efficient i can do this i can do that on my android it's the same map on my android that is on the ios device no it's actually different if you are into cycling you know why it's different because what apple just did now is this you can actually look up on the map before you go cycling and check streets places whereby there is provision for bike lane so you can enjoy your cycling at at ease and you can meet other cyclists on the way and network look at what I, look at the diversification apple did you could not thought of that imagine imagine okay looking on the app and looking for a place whereby you can a road where, whereby it's, it's pedestrian road you can just jog across and they can tell you okay you are going two miles you can see a pedestrian road it will be easier because you meet somebody also exercising and one beautiful thing about about this uh, map is this you know sooner or later the world is going to migrate to electric cars if you are using an electric car apple now apple now integrated some charging station into the app into the app whereby you can you can actually plan your route so as to so as to get notified at when you get to every charging station during your travel or during your vacation could you have thought of that yeah but apple did apple has a great team that keeps providing solution and making life easier for everyone around the world this is beautiful number five we number five which is the translation translation app has been upgraded you can now chat you cannot translate to over one you know there is always language barrier probably you travel to china for the first time before you can speak china you have to go to some class for like maybe two weeks or that or three weeks you don't need to stress yourself you can just bring out your iphone updated ios then click on it the translate will come up just put your phone on landscape and type what do you want to translate and you can actually play it to the person you are dealing with they are just making this easy for us so what are you still waiting for you need to update your ios to 14 
thing Apple did about series is this they increase its knowledge 30 times the earlier years the Siri the earlier series Siri are not even are not even smart the moment you update your iOS your your, your Siri is getting updated and is and is getting 30 times more knowledge if you ask Siri a question and it cannot answer you immediately it runs a web answer for you within microseconds depend on your internet service this is and the funny part is this, probably you are driving and you want to send a an audio message Siri can help you do that just bring out your Siri Record this. So Junior, how are you doing? I need you to get to Susu Station at Susu time. Siri, send this to Junior. And Siri will do that. Sooner or later, we will be using artificial intelligence in every aspect of our life. We cannot deny it. AI is coming to stay. Number eight, which is the Safari. The Safari has so much been upgraded that it monitors your password. Wow, you scared? <laughs> no, 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 no. It monitors your password in the sense that Apple does not even have access to it. <laughs> now you coming, you coming down. I can see. <laughs> it's normal. One thing about Apple: be rest assured when you are using an Apple product be rest assured that your privacy is not compromised your data is not being used now this is what it upgraded from in the safari this is what is new the password monitoring it monitors your password when your password is two weeks it tells you to change it it looks around if it search the webs in, in such a way whereby to check if there is possibility probably also of guessing your password and it notifies you immediately that you need to change your password otherwise it will be compromised it gives you pri privacy reports. This is one thing other web browser would not do. The privacy report is gives you to tell you how a website is using your data, what are they using to do, how they are tracking your 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 data, and so many more. Just take a look at it. Apple is already a step ahead of all these browsers. Fine, you can tell me DuckDuckGo is a beautiful browser yes it's a beautiful browser but it only blocks track and does not give the opportunity for website that tracks your activities and collects your data to do that but now apple is giving you reports like look this site you are visiting this safari is giving you the report this site you are vis visiting this is what they are doing with your data this is what they are doing with your data this is what this is what they collected from your phone this is the apple home has been transformed you now have the home kit, you have the adaptive lighting, then you have the activity zone. I know this this uh, this adaptive lighting is something that is common to Android, but it's coming to Apple. This adaptive lighting is this probably if you are in a bright place, your phone automatically set itself to a much brighter brighter home so you can see and operate your phone easily whether if you're in a dark place it reduce the it reduce the the brightness in order not to affect your heart which is very very crucial and is making facebook go away the almighty mac is making him tremble in earlier phones in earlier ios Facebook were able to track activities of iPhone Apple users even to their, the apps they are using, back logins, payment details and so on. But iOS 14 is not giving them the privilege now. iOS 14 is giving you the authority to decide which data to share. This comes to the privacy. In the smart world, Apple seriously is the almighty privacy protector. They don't joke with it. I remember when this 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 is a court case, and they still I cannot overemphasize what Apple has 
upgraded in this iOS 14 privacy. The funniest part, one thing that caught my attention is this. Whenever an app, whenever an app is using your camera or is using your microphone, there will be an indicator on your phone. As shown on the screen, there will be an indicator and you will be able to identify the app using your microphone and front camera at that point. So you know this app is not safe and you're going to get rid of it. App tracking, app tracking transparency. Now you can give authority, you can allow apps to track you. The, the, these apps you download from, uh, from Apple Store, it tells you how the app is going to use your data. Even after downloading, when the app tries to use your, use your data, there will be a pop-up. Either you allow it or decline it. Apple is just putting everything in your hand. Like, you, you have the authority. It's your right. They can't keep invading your privacy without you. I really thank you guys for staying tuned. And I hope you will yield to the to the advice to upgrade your iOS because we are found of not upgrading our iOS. Even to Android users, they don't upgrade they don't upgrade their Android OS, which which is reducing the efficiency of our phones. This update comes with vital upgrades that will make our smart device more efficient and effective to us if you had gained one or two things in today's video kindly leave the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe share with your family and friends as you'll be seeing me same time next week wednesday if you have any topic or any gadgets you want me to talk about or review or you want me to do an unboxing you have a product that is tech product that you know would help and increase the productivity of human and you want me to unbox or review kindly send me a message check my bio sections for my detail thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye